What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Miller, and this is my Canadian Maple Leaf, Mitch Dyer. Hi, Greg. Hey, Mitch. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'll tell you what, it's been a great year for these PC mass races with the keyboards That's and the Steams. That's how you play games. Yeah. Let's marry it. Anyways, let's go through IGN's five yes. nominations for PC Game of the Year. What do you got for me? List them out. Bioshock Infinite, mm -hmm. Dota 2, mm -hmm. Gone Home, Gotcha. Gunpoint. Okay. And Rogue Legacy. Ooh, okay. Some indies on there. Yeah, Some unexpected games. So where do you want to start? And lay it on me. Which one do you want to start with? No particular order here, ladies and gentlemen. We're just talking. Yeah. Uh, Greg, you and I both love Gone Home. Oh, Gone Home so good. Have you played it yet? Why have you played it? It's, it's two hours of your life. Go do it. It's a video game that made Greg Miller play a PC. That's just, just saying. A rare occasion. Actually, and why? Like, what, what about it resonated games. with you most? Well, I knew nothing about it. Everybody yeah. told me I had to play it, and when I jumped in, it was the storytelling of it, right? I knew yeah. nothing about it going in, which is always this weird thing with this game. You don't want to tell anybody what it's about, yeah. right? I knew nothing going in, so when there's thunderclaps and there's this, I'm scared, I'm terrified, and the story starts unfolding, I'm like, that's cool, but I'm really waiting for the ghost. Where's the ghost over here? But yeah, then slowly it became my care of the story, and then I was like, oh, the ghost, and then, oh, yeah. yeah. Like you, you alternate between which emotion is real right yeah, now, yeah. and what is happening in this game? On all on the list of these games, too, it's the one that is the most real and grounded, right? right. Because there's right. no powers, there's nothing like that. You're just a woman walking around her home looking at stuff that her Trying family to left out behind. where the family is, yeah. Yeah. So that game was excellent. Yeah. I don't know if you've played uh, Gunpoint. I have not. Similarly fantastic. Okay. Not as, you know, emotionally charged, <laughs> but it's really interesting and it's more of a video gaming game. Right? Okay. It's a 2D platformer adventure action thing where you're a spy and you're infiltrating and you're assassinating and you have all these awesome gadgets that let you kind of rewire buildings, security systems that let you solve these puzzles in the forms of, like, doors and mm, cameras mm. and all this stuff. You love it. You love stealth stuff, right? I do, yeah. So this is up your alley. Okay. Uh, and it, it also has this weird story that kind of touches on some important ethical issues mm, okay. in, you know, like some corporate espionage stuff. It's a really fantastic game made by one guy, Tom Francis. Okay. Uh, the game is fantastic. All right. I'm downloading it tonight. What's next? Oh, what is next? Uh, you want to talk about Bioshock Infinite? Of course. What do you think? Where did you land with Infinite? I like Bioshock Infinite. I wasn't like floored, blown away, but I enjoyed sure. it. Like, right? Like, I think it's a beautiful game. Yeah. I love the color palette of it. I love the performances. I thought, you know, Troy Baker. Yeah. Uh, Courtney Draper. Thank you. Got Gosh, you. I got you. You saw me reach for it too. I know, <laughs> and I know Courtney. I'm never gonna hear the end of that. But no, they both deliver these great experiences. Yeah. And like the end, like there's a lot of t lot to love. I thought about yeah. Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, and I think the, the DLC this year was a strong addition to that right, as well. Totally, totally. See, um, you know, kind of returning to Rapture is a really interesting point, especially given like that game's talk about like multiple universes and stuff like that. Like, how does this fit in? Where do these people fit? That kind of stuff. And yeah. there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on in that story. I was actually uh, similar to you. I love that world. I love this like in the sky Americana right. obsession. But I also love the powers of that game. I love the, you know, pulling dudes toward you, throwing them off ledges. Right. The fingers them on were fire. fun. It was and, fun to use. Yeah, and you could combine them in really interesting ways. And I just thought it was a really great game in addition to a really terrific story. Okay. What's the next PC? Rogue game of the Year nomination. Rogue Now what? Rogue 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 Legacy. Rogue Legacy! Tell me all about it. You haven't played it, have you? No. This guy. This guy needs to play more <laughs> PC games. So Rogue Legacy is a uh, 2D action game, a lot like kind of Ghouls and Ghosts, games like that you played during your childhood, games you loved, yeah. with a bit of a roguelike twist. So when you cool. die, that's it. You go back to the beginning and that's it. That's your life. Ooh, okay. And the interesting thing is that when you die, that character's offspring is the next character that you choose. Oh! You so, told me all about this. Yeah. yeah. So that child is also almost invariably born with a flaw, like dyslexia or colorblindness that has an effect on the gameplay. Yeah. So the way they perceive the world might be different than the last character, which kind of it's already hard because it's a really, really tough game and it's a roguelike, so you're dead as soon as you die and you start all over and you have to go through all of these bosses again and all of these monsters, these randomly generated levels. You have to do it with another flaw. This reminds me, this is just like the last PC game you told me about where I was like, that sounds awesome, download it, and never played it. I own Rogue Legacy, they have my money, but I haven't played it yet, but I still want to. This guy. What do you mean this guy? You just, you gotta, you gotta play them. They're great games. Yeah, yeah. You know what you also need to play? What? Dota 2. Now, I've tried Dota 2, so don't really? throw me under the bus on that one. I would never. Thank you. What do you mean? You've been doing this whole video. You're You've witness. played it. You've played it. I'm yeah. not going to throw you under the bus. You've played it. I'm happy yeah. about that. So, it's a tough game. Yeah. It's real hard. Yeah. It's real good, though. Yeah? What do you, so, what it's do you... worth the time commitment. I I mean, like, toe in the water. Right. What is everybody talking about? So, this is one of those games that when I started playing it, I was like, ah, oh, it's so frustrating and hard, and I don't understand it. There's too much going on, and I'm never going to understand it. Yeah. And it really is just a time thing. You have to sink into it and start to understand it's you know, its complexities and its characters and the item builds and it becomes this really interesting character action RPG that takes place over the course of 45 minutes. Oh, wow. One match is basically the arc of, a, of one RPG mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. you have a character and you have loot and you have unlocks and then you win or you lose. And you have five on five and it's this really great, smart, competitive game that 
it is a lot like a sport. Like you want to talk about esports a little bit. Like that is, <laughs> it feels a lot like a sport. Getting a kill feels a lot like scoring a goal, getting a touchdown, that kind of feeling. You played a little bit. What do you think? I did not even get enough to tell you about it. Man, you really got to play. Well, then we'll play. I will, I'll show you the ropes. The thing about me is the time sink. That's yeah. it. And it's one of those things when I have a little bit of time to play a game, I don't want to jump in and start and be this noob that's getting crushed over and over again. Yeah, and that's the challenge that is with Dota 2 is saying, this game's amazing. You should totally play it for 10 hours to grind through exactly, it and understand exactly. it. Because it's totally unreasonable to tell somebody, play this stuff that you're probably going to hate for a little while because it's going to be really fun later. Yeah. That's a hard sell, but I ultimately think it really is worth it. Okay. And that was it. Yeah. That's all she wrote. PC games are great this year. That's a great list of nominations. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think will win IGN's PC Game of the Year? Let us know in the comments and then make sure you share your picks for all the games we excluded. No papers, please? What is Mitch thinking? I don't know. Let us know in the comments, though. And then make sure you share the video with your friends. And then make sure you come back to IGN when we figure out what is IGN's PC Game of the Year 2013 by the Pear Schneider Corporation. Mm.